Here I was looking to make 2020 my biggest year yet in terms of my production business, looking to grow it, looking to get more jobs, about to invest in a new Mac Pro and some other filmmaking equipment as well. And then all of a sudden, a couple of weeks ago, I start getting calls, I start getting emails, I start not to get emails. And basically the rest of my year in terms of my production jobs just wiped out, gone. And unfortunately, it's not an uncommon story and my heart goes out to all of those at the moment who are struggling more than others for sure. It can feel pretty helpless and at the moment there's not really a lot we can be doing to get back on set with people while we get through this outbreak. But thankfully, if you still have your health and you're not feeling too stressed and anxious, there are definitely things you'd be doing at home to keep yourself busy in the meantime. So here are five things I'll be doing in social isolation and you can do as well. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be up to date with all the latest videos. But for the moment, this is social isolation and this is Q time. Number one is probably the most important. I was gonna leave it till the end, but to be honest, I feel like I wanna get it over and done with straight away. It's just to take it easy. So there's a lot going on right now around the world and depending where you are, things could actually be worse than other places. So just make sure that you're looking after yourself, you're looking after your mental health. If you can, make sure to keep a regular routine, try and exercise, try and meditate if that helps you out as well. Uh, basically just keep on top of the things that are important and that's things like making sure you have food, shelter, water, the basics, being there with people, family, friends. I would say that's probably the most important thing right now is we can be looking out for each other. Right now, um, a lot of people are going to need help um, to get through this. And so if you're in a place where you can help people, whatever that might be, make sure you reach out. But again, look after yourself first and take it easy. This period of social isolation doesn't need to be about you getting a whole bunch of stuff done. And at the end of the day, if you come out of this and you haven't gone ahead and made your feature film or been at home, I think that's gonna be okay. As long as you come out the other end feeling okay as a person. And again, the people who are important to you are still well and uh, are still, I guess, you know, also there in terms of their mental health and physical health. I would say that's probably the most important thing. So just number one, remember that what's important right now is probably not filmmaking as much as possible, but at the same time, there are still definitely things you can be doing if you're spending most of your time at home. Number two is research and learn. So there is a heap of resources out there right now, a lot of which are becoming free in the meantime, obviously during this period of social isolation and quarantine. So I know Avid is now doing a 90 day free trial, Final Cut Pro 10 and Logic you can download for free for the next 90 days as well. If you're currently a member with Adobe Creative Cloud or a student, I believe again, you can access those things for free for the next couple of months. There's also uh, a couple of great courses out there at the moment, uh, a couple of RE masterclasses, which were originally provided through MZ are currently free at the moment too, as well as Shane Herbert's Illumination Experience, all of which I've watched and would definitely recommend to people as well if you're interested in learning more about lighting, large format camera sensors as well uh, through the RE masterclasses. Again, just good to broaden your horizon, learn a little bit more if you have the time, potentially just sit down and watch it over a few days and take some notes. Um, I think that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing in terms of learning a little bit more Cinema 4D, um, which is a program I've had some experience with over the years, but just never taken the time to learn properly. So again, grateful to have the time at the moment to be able to buy a course on Udemy, sit down, watch it and see how it go. Hopefully again, at the end of this, I can then use my newfound skills in my video production. The next one is watching TV shows and movies and listening to podcasts that potentially, again, you just haven't caught up with yet. You probably have a massive list of things you wanna uh, listen to, to watch. And obviously during the usual nine to five busy rush of the week, you don't get a chance to. So this again is a perfect opportunity to sit down and be able to watch and catch up with those things. I would also say as well, what would be really great is if someone has recommended something to you, just to reach out to them and tell them that you've watched it um, give them feedback in terms of how you found it, um, engaging conversation with people. So again, just making sure you're not feeling too isolated. Uh, or if you know someone who wants to watch it, potentially sitting down with them virtually. I know there's an Chrome extension, I believe it's called Netflix Party, which allows you to watch Netflix in sync with your friends. Uh, you could potentially be on a call with them at the same time and sort of narrating it in terms of, uh, not narrating it, but commenting on it basically uh, about how you're finding it. So. These are just ways that obviously, while you can't be physically close to someone, you can still virtually reach out to them. And again, at the same time, be getting on top of those TV shows and movies, which just have a uh, general knack for getting away from you in terms of how many there are and how many good shows and TV series 
I am currently watching Stranger Things myself. I'm up to season two, don't judge me. I have been up to season two for the last over a year. Um, so getting there, thankfully, now that I have the time. But remember, everything in moderation. Uh, I'd probably put together a little bit of a schedule myself just so, again, you're not sitting down throughout most of the day and just watching stuff and always being switched on. Take some time to turn it off, to go for a walk, to clear your head. I think that'll really help out with your mental health, obviously just maintaining a balance and still having a routine, but at the same time, still being able to watch some of those TV shows and movies that have just gotten by the wayside. And podcasts too. Podcasts are important. There's a lot of great podcasts out there. Uh, if you have a favorite podcast, leave a link to it down below so I can check it out. The next one is focus on your business. So at this point, I'm sure a lot of filmmakers have lost their future work or some future work at least. Um, and now's a great opportunity for them to be able to catch up on things that consistently get away from you. That's things like updating your website, updating your reel, which I know for me is uh, horribly out of date at this point and have not put any time into it over the past couple of years to fix it. And I also know there was a couple of things I wanted to change before all this happened in terms of working on my pricing structure, looking at some new gear to invest in, uh, in terms of what's gonna help me with my future work. And that's all stuff now that I can, I can finally sit down and have the opportunity to think about without constantly worrying about, okay, now I've got another job coming up. I don't have time to worry about this. I don't have time to fix this. Basically your priorities are adjusting at this point. So as I said before, number one priority is looking after you and the people around you and your health and uh, you know all that really important stuff. But then second to that could obviously be making sure that once all of this is over and you're back to doing your video business, um, that you can be up to date with everything. So basically now is the perfect opportunity to create a new business plan. And going back to research and learning as well, it's also the perfect opportunity to be able to uh, really delve into some gear you might have at the moment, but haven't had the chance to really learn properly. And I know for me, that's the DJI Ronin S, which I bought at the end of last year. I feel like I'm balancing it properly. I feel like I'm using it properly, but every time I've used it, and thankfully I don't use it on a lot of professional jobs, I just feel I'm getting really mixed results. So it's a good opportunity for me to be able to just test, 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 see how I go with it, see what's working, see what's not working. And again, at the end of this, have an opportunity to use that on more projects because I feel comfortable with it. I know I can get replicatable results each time and be very consistent with it. And number five is keep creating. So there's a whole bunch of contests that are going on at the moment. I know Film Rights running one of them. The Buff Nerds just released another one the other day. So there are some pretty big YouTube channels. Again, just running some contests um, that you can actually keep learning while you're actually doing as well at the same time as being at home learning to use maybe some of the constraints you have to create something awesome. There's also opportunities if you have stuff like stock footage, for example, you can upload that to stock sites and look to make some money, as well as engaging on platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, being on forums, talking with people. Uh, if you have an audience, if you have a community, again, reaching out to them. Uh, and I think that's gonna be a really cathartic way to potentially get what's on your mind, off your mind, uh, engage with people who are, again, going through the same thing at the moment. So I think that's super important. And yeah, basically being at home doesn't have to be the be all end all in terms of you can't create anything in the meantime. If you have a camera at home, if you have lights, if you don't have that kind of stuff, again, using your phone, being creative, um, just something that sort of is pushing you a little bit further. And again, your, your creativity muscle is just not dying in the meantime while you're sitting at home on the couch doing not much at all. But just remember, all of this keeps going back to my point one in terms of taking it easy on yourself. You don't need to do any of this if you don't feel like it, if you feel like first and foremost, you just need to be able to recover, maybe switching off for a little while. And I did do a video about potentially if you're having issues with that, being able to switch off and sort of, again, looking after your mental health first. I don't think anyone in this period of time is going to become Steven Spielberg directing films at home. Um, filmmaking is very much a team sport, so it really doesn't help once uh, everyone's socially isolated. But at the same time, again, if there's little things you can be doing here and there, it just not only helps to keep you busy and keep you physically and mentally active, I think that's just gonna help you get through this. Um, but just at the same time, just taking it one day at a time, not putting too much pressure on yourself is really important. So there'll be links to everything I talked about in the description below. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. While I have the time, I'll be releasing and doing some more video content. So hopefully you'll be enjoying that. And for the meantime, stay well, beautiful people, and I will see you soon.